Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. Today, I'm actually, I just dropped off Matt uh, to wind up the day. He's got stuff to do tonight, so I figured I would do this video now. And that is, this video is actually sponsored by Fishbrain. It's an app that I've used for about a year now. And I did a video, I think last July, on trout fishing and using that app. But I, I've, I've used it for about a year and I actually, when I travel to Lake of the Ozarks, different lakes that I've, I've never fished before, I, I use it quite a bit. Um, because people are willing to share information on this app to help you find fish. Um, and that's actually what I'm gonna do today. I'm on Lake of Egypt, the crappie are starting to spawn. There's some big ones up shallow. Very simple setup, it's a little uh, cigar float. And uh, I'm just using a 1 16th ounce jig. Nothing very complicated at all. Uh, focus. 1 16th ounce jig, super simple and a minnow. Very simple setup, but I'm gonna show you how I use the app to actually find certain spots, and then I'm gonna actually log my catches uh, on this app and uh, hopefully put a bunch of fish in the boat today. We actually did, Matt and I did really well considering it's bluebird skies, high pressure system. We didn't think we were gonna catch very many fish, but uh, hopefully I put some more fish in the boat for you for this video, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the app. So the first thing I do when I go to new lakes is I first open up the Fishbrain app and in this home screen you'll see on the bottom left hand corner there's a, a tab called map. You can click that and at first it's going to open up to your GPS location but see if I'm planning a trip like this one to southern Illinois I'm going to go on the lake that I'm going to fish which is Lake of Egypt. I'm going to zoom in on Lake of Egypt here. Now you'll notice there's an anchor uh, in in an orange circle, there's a boat ramp uh, function. These signify marinas, boat ramps, the blue waves, if you click on those, will show you catches within that area. What, what people have caught, largemouth bass, channel catfish, white crappie, um, there's some black crappie in there as well. Uh, but what I'm, what I'm wanting to do is find out specific areas uh, for the given time of year. So there's these little green markers and those signify people's individual catches. So if I click on one of those, it'll pop up. This is a largemouth bass and this was caught in September. Not really the time of year I'm looking for. Let's go back in this bay. Another largemouth bass caught in the middle of July. And I'm gonna go through it and click some of these. Uh, they might not be the exact location where these people have caught them, but it gives me an area to guess where these fish might be. The other thing I look at is the actual depth contours. Now you'll notice the darker blue is deeper water, the lighter blue is shallower water. And right now I'm actually going to try to find back bays with a lot of shallow water. Now we'll go back in here on this bay Seems like there's quite a bit of shoreline uh, with shallow water. These are gonna be the spawning areas, the spawning grounds for the crappie during the springtime. And since Southern Illinois, specifically Lake of Egypt, I've been hearing reports that crappie are starting to push up shallow. I usually find them on the fishing forums, multiple fishing forums, but this is also a good way to communicate with other anglers who use this app um, that fish in that area. This is probably where I'm gonna start, this bay right here. And if I wanna research the best times to actually fish this area, I'm gonna use this bite time app. I'm gonna click on that. And what this is gonna do is bring up uh, the most productive times of day to fish for a specific species of fish. So you can see there's a largemouth bass, um, there's a channel catfish, we've got white crappie, we got black crappie. Okay, those are the two species I really wanna target. So white crappie and black crappie, it seems like the most productive time is early morning. Uh, white crappie, I guess, will still be biting throughout mid-morning. Uh, black crappie looks like it's going to shut down until probably later in the afternoon, 4 or 5 p.m. 6, 7 p.m. is when it really takes off. And there's going to be a little bit of, <laughs> there's going to be a pretty good night bite, it seems like, uh, for black crappie um, coming up later at night. So this is a cool app to kind of determine when you really want to go fishing. It helps you out, pick your time. And the other part of this uh, bite time, actually within this app, there's a weather tab. You can click on that. It will show you the weather throughout the given day, the wind direction. The wind is actually really key on this specific lake during the winter time because it's a power plant lake. 
and if you get a strong wind out of the north and it's consistent for uh, multiple days, it's going to push that warmer water up against the northern points and crappie, bass, a bunch of different species stack up against those northern points on this lake from that output of the power plant. Now, if you're just trying to research, you know, is this a lake, do I even want to try to fish it? You can also zoom out and click fish species. And this is going to give you all the species that have been logged within that lake. And as you can see, it's actually a really big lake for bass fishing tournaments, um, highly pressured for bass fishing tournaments actually. But black crappie and white crappie are second and third on this lake as well. And then once you figure out, okay, I want to fish here, you can go to top baits to figure out what kind of lures you can use given the specific species. So if you're largemouth bass fishing, you can see a lot of people using some stick baits, jigs, looks like lipless, and some, some square bills, spinner baits. But since we're going after crappie today, we're gonna go black crappie. Looks like natural baits, some black and chartreuse little tubes, and some uh, minnow, uh, I guess swim baits, miniature swim baits for plastics. But we're gonna be using a live bait today. There he is. And please be a crappie. I think it's a bass. Feels like a bass. If that's a crappie, it's a big crappie. And it's not. It's a bass, but we can still do the catch and release. It's a good sized bass too. All right, so we're gonna go into the app, then I'm gonna click log catch, new photo. Take a picture, there we go, hit okay. Largemouth bass detected, that's correct. And I'm gonna guess two, two and a quarter maybe? Yeah, well, let's say two pounds. Zero ounces. Throw it on the bump board right here. Close your mouth, buddy. And he is, he's just over 17. 17 and a quarter. That's a solid bass. All right, see you, bud. Let's finish posting this. So we'll say 17. And hit done. Largemouth bass, fishing method, oil casting. And baits, categories, natural baits, natural baits. And we're gonna say, uh, we got minnow, what do they got here? Bait fish, shiner. I'm recording, now I am. Sorry, I missed the hook set. What do I got here? Is this a crappie? Yes, it is. Got the crappie. Ooh, that's a big one too. Oh yes. That's a nice fish. All right, we're gonna measure this and weigh it. I got a scale. I'm gonna put this all in the app and let this puppy go. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see if I got batteries. I feel like that's more than 0.45. Anyway, let's put it on the bump board real quick for you. Then we'll log the catch. There we go, mouth closed. And he is 11 and three quarters, we're gonna call him. Log catch. Take a picture. And right there, boom. Okay, well, I'm logging this in. I'm gonna let this guy go. See ya, buddy. All right, let's finish logging this in and we'll go back in there and see if we can catch some more. Black crappie, yes it is. 
pounds. Well, it said 0.45. I think it was a little heavier than that, but we'll say 0.5. What the hell? Whoops, no. So, 8 ounces. Inches, 11.75. Done. Species, black crappie, 0.8. Fishing method, casting. Baits. Same bait fish. Making it public, Lake of Egypt. Check. Upload and catch. And there you go. So a huge thank you goes out to Fishbrain for sponsoring this video and helping pay for this trip um, so I can create more content for you. They actually are giving you a 25% discount for the first three months when you use Flopping Crappie as a redemption code or you can click on the link in the description box below and you can follow me, Flopping Crappie, on the Fishbrain app. You can see all my postings, uh, the lures I used, the methods I used to catch them. Uh, appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and share the video and as always if you're new, click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. See ya.